Okay, so we're gonna we're just testing out YouTube to see if we can figure out how to do a video. Whoops, no, I want to do this. So we're gonna look at some minerals. This one, see these are ore minerals. This one contains both azurite and malachite. These are oxides of copper, copper two plus or copper one plus. Or one plus. Azurite is the blue one, obviously. I hope. Malachite is the green one. This mineral, and I don't know, let me just move it. Hopefully you can see that that's iridescent, sort of a purpley, whiny color, and brassy yellow. That one is um, bornite, which is uh, copper iron sulfide. This one is cinnabar. I'll move it around, hopefully you can see. It's the red one. Now the red one, the veins of red stuff, are mercury sulfide. That's where we get mercury from. This one, shiny, sort of a bluish, metallic, cubic. is galena. Galena is lead sulfide and that's where we get lead from. This one is sphalerite. Sphalerite, notice how sparkly it is, has six directions of cleavage, and those are all cleavage planes shining. Sphalerite is zinc sulfide. That's where we get zinc. This one is a complex ore. So it's a massive sulfide. It's got all kinds of different sulfides in there. And it's where we get copper and nickel. And this last one, let me just pull back a little bit. The last one here is from Sudbury, Ontario. It's one of the largest layered intrusive deposits on Earth. And this is where we get nickel and copper, this particular rock. Complex ore as well, containing uh, pentlandite, pyrotite, and chalcopyrite. 